So Aquafina, you know that Asian star that rolls to the top pretty much mocking black people with her black scent? She finally came on Twitter to address uh, everybody that was criticizing her for it, just being on the black community's back, getting to where she is now. And her apology was very, very weak. But we gonna talk about that. But what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. What's up with y'all, Moxie Mob? Y'all already know what to do. We getting close to hitting 11,000 subs. Please hit that like button and turn your notification bell all the way up to all. Make sure you share this video. If you're new to this page or you just for some reason haven't done it yet, please do me one small favor and apply pressure. Apply pressure to that subscribe button. But what we talking about? What we talking about? Aquafina, y'all know I did a video, or actually it was a live stream about her last week as being one of the leeches of our community. Y'all know I call out leeches on this channel, okay? But I would like to include her in a group of people that like to leech off of us. Now, people have been talking bad about her because she had this black scent. She's from Queens. She had this little black scent that she was using. Thinking I'm gonna swerve like a chicken. But you can't swerve. I'm not gonna swerve, not for her. You gonna roll up to that way and you gonna be like, bok bok bitch, bok bok bitch. In a lot of movies and uh, it sounds like, eh, now maybe if you if you look here and if you're watching, it'd be gone in a second, but eh, then that's what you know what we about, about though. So, I don't know, she was talking like that. Real, real niggatry. Real niggerish, like, like I'm use that word on some nigger tree type type stuff. Like that, we don't even talk like that. It was, it was very dramatic. Well, people been talking about her because now she she has a perfect American accent now. All right. So finally, after years of people talking about her, she came on Twitter and it was very passive aggressive, very weak. The apology it is. Let's go through what what she said. As a non-black person of color, I stand by the fact that I will always listen and work tirelessly to understand the history and context of AAVE. Now, they be coming up with these terms, these slangs, uh, for, for them to kind of like explain away some of the stuff they doing. And the AAVE, it stands for African American Vernacular English, or AKA Blackson. So, she basically said, there is a socio-political context to everything, especially the historical context of the African-American community in this country. But I must emphasize to not belittle or to be unkind in any way possible at the expense of others is simply not my nature. It never has, it never was, she, she later said. So it's like, all right, that's what you were doing though. Just because you say that's not what you're doing, don't make that a fact. But that's, that's definitely what she was doing and it makes it worse. You know what? I don't think it would have been that bad, maybe, if that was really her and she just kept it. But the fact that it just went away like that and she don't talk like this no more and we gonna go ahead and get me some ribs on us to eat and all that. The fact that she don't talk like that no more, that lets you know where her heart really is and what she really did. She really used us to get where she is at. All right, she uh, went forward with her statements. Here's the part where she apologizes. Well, I'll see you in a few years, Twitter, per my therapist. To my fans, thank you for continuing to love and support someone who wishes they could be a better person for you. I apologize if I ever fell short in anything I did. You're always in my heart, or you're in my heart always. Now that's just BS. That's just BS. Like. I'm not gonna get into my family business, but I had a family member that growing up did some very wild stuff to me. And I don't really like being around this person, nor do I care to ever hear from this guy because that's how his apology sounded to me. His apology was, hey, whatever you think I did wrong, whatever growing up, I apologize for it. Man, get, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here with that weak apology. And I'm, I'm talking to Aquafina, I already said that to him. I'm talking to Aquafina, get the hell out of here with that weak apology. All right, it's a very, very weak apology, but I'm just gonna tell y'all this black community, we just gonna have to move on and separate ourselves from people like this. You know, um, there was a lot of criticism over the years. I found out about her years back. And when I saw what, what, what uh, some of her work, man, I turned that crap off. I couldn't believe it, that people, that even Hollywood was allowing that to go on, but y'all gotta understand, the people that run this type stuff, that run Hollywood and all that, that's the stuff they want. They like to mock us and belittle us. And they even find like some of our own to do the same. So the thing about what I'm gonna say, just to ignore someone like her, I would not, I don't support her stuff. 
I've never seen a movie with her on, nor do I care to see a movie with her on. But it's pretty much too late to even uh, give any kind of attention to this because... They've made her a star now, and her, her, it's going to be hard to dim her star. You know why? She has a whole Asian community that will now support her, all right? Whole entire Asian community. There's what? Billions of people over there in China that would, that if they knew or know uh, her, what she did with the black scent and how it affects the black community, they'll actually support this woman even more. So she at a spot where our, she's over our criticism now, okay? And... What we have to do is uh, we got to work a little bit harder, in my opinion, and not supporting these people and not support where they came from and whoever's behind them. Because I'm going to tell you what, the people that's behind this type of stuff and the people that run Hollywood, there's one thing that they care more about than anything in the world. They really don't care about us, care about how things make us feel. Y'all know I, I come from Hollywood. I worked in Hollywood. They, I'm t to tell you as a person that worked in Hollywood, they don't care how, uh, how about her feelings or anything else. But there is one thing they care about more than anything. More than anything, they care about one thing, and that is money. When the money start hurting or it starts affecting the money, then they start talking about all that. Oh, all right, we have to do something. But if it's not affecting their money, they don't care. You ever notice that, that uh, people in our own community Black entertainers and stuff, when they do stuff that the black community don't approve and we ask them to uh, remove these people off of TV, we don't like how they represent us. You ever notice that they get a promotion? They get placed up even higher on the totem pole. I figured that out a long time ago. So what we have to do more is we have to find our ways on how to take money out of situations that support people and things that, that, that is very harmful and detrimental to the black community. As far as this woman, Aquafina, the, the big ass teeth and shit like that, she's out of here now. She, she, now that she's where she's at, the Asian community, she's gonna make a lot of money. But that apology was pretty much, it was very weak. And uh, it's, it's even cowardice, cause she's like, I don't even wanna be on Twitter where you can have access to even say something to me. I'll come, it's basically saying, I'll come back on Twitter when y'all no longer care about this and y'all stop talking about this. So I come back on Twitter a couple of years and a therapist was like, yeah, yeah, you don't need to hold no accountability. Just get off of Twitter. And then maybe in a couple of years, people will stop talking about it. And guess what? The therapist is not wrong. Maybe in a couple of years, people will stop talking about it. Not me and not here on this page. This is the kind of stuff that we talk about. And these are the kind of people we don't, we don't allow that over here. We gonna call them out. And I really don't like doing this celebrity gossip, but I think that maybe it is something I should be having on my page. It ain't really gossip. It's checking celebrities. I don't really do that gossip, who dating who and all that. I'm not really into that. But it don't matter if it's a celebrity, a YouTuber, or a regular person. You disrespecting the black community, yeah, you're going to hear something about that on this page. Well, anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here on Moxie Approved, right? With that water. i see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. I don't know, maybe I should do a Joe Rogan video because he in a very similar situation. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. You wanna hear me talk about Joe Rogan? Put it in the comment section. I might do a Joe Rogan video.